Greetings, star keepers of the guardians of the sacred soul light. Happy New Earth 2022. Solaris ushers us into the new Edenic timeline with a massive blast of an M1 class solar flare this morning at 7.30 UTC, 37 into the 73 heaven on earth. The lights celebrate. We are entering the new world of the fifth dimensional light. As we step over the threshold of heaven on earth, we are rising through the vortex of organic ascension into our true nature of Buddha consciousness. With our pure awareness, we realize our infinite, boundless nature of our unborn mind of eternal light. As we continue our journey through the central column of the Zolkin Rainbow Bridge, today is Keen 123, Blue Rhythmic Night of Healing the Dream. We are the real dreamers entering the dream to heal and transform all timelines into the one true manifestation of eternal bliss consciousness. We make our way, day by day, closer and closer to the stillness of the great central sun, Hunabku. We keep going through and through and through until full compression breakthroughs. As we live from our hearts, being real humans of heavenly, multi-light forces, the lineage of star holders of the soul star sparks from twelfth dimensional Venus with us now, we now step fully into our rainbow diamond dragon bodies of the new Lemuria. As the Holy Spirit rises, we arise with her. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. On this powerful 1-1 portal as we enter the new time, the new earth, 144 coming in. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our New Earth Sacred Scribe, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And again, please do us a favor and give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm to get our energy, our gnosis, our codes out to more of our team of the 144,000. As we have reached critical mass, we now need to hold the visions of New Earth 222 coming in. And with these powerful energetics coming in, we had many activations all over this realm. We had 88 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours, which is pretty low for what we have been experiencing lately. 88 Lion's Gate, Lyra Nation coming in. The most powerful was a 5.2 and the sacred portal southeast of Easter Island. And an hour ago, we had this powerful activation in Chile, South America, Kundalini at Pachamama, a 3.7 code, magnitude earthquake, 37 into 73 heaven on earth, and it was 88 kilometers depth. Another 88 portal, 88 activation, Lions Gate, Lyra Nation of the new Lemuria coming in. Earlier today, Shandon, California, 3.3, 33 divine mastery. Okinawa, Japan on the Ring of Fire 4.5, Council of Nine coming in. Then the most powerful southeast of Easter Island with a 5.2. And that was also 808 UTC, the triple 88 portal, 8th dimensional energy coming in. 36.153 latitude, 100.566 longitude. This was in the east. Pacific, Southeast Pacific Ocean, Guatemala, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, 4.4, Divine 44, 114 kilometer depth, Celibus C, 4.5, another Council of Nine activation, very deep, 589 kilometers depth, and this is the sea that, that is surrounded by Indonesia, the Philippines, and Malaysia. We had a powerful activation in the root chakra again today of Pachamama, South Sandwich Islands 5.1. The sacred portal again today, Afghanistan, where the three holy mountains come together of the east. Tian Shan in the north, Celestial Mountain. Kunlun in the middle, Land of the Immortals. Himalayan in the south, Kingdom of the Great White Brotherhood. We had a 5.2 activation, 234 kilometer depth, 234. 
and the sacred portal of Haiti, 4.3, New Atlantis Energy, Divine Masculine, Portugal, and the Holy Portal, 4.3, Indonesia, 4.5, Northwest of Korea Islands, 4.3, Hasaki, Japan, 4377 Portal, 7th Dimensional Energy, Tonga, 4.913 of Divine Goddess, Ohara, Japan, 4.3, then the 3.7 in Chile, 88 kilometers depth, a lot of 88 codes coming in. The Lion Nation with us now, encouraging us, transmitting the courage of the Lion in the sacred heart center, the core of the Lion. This is Leo Energy and fire the fire of the holy spirit the holy fire merge with the holy water to create the sacred steam the holy mist the mists of avalon rise again to reveal all that has been hidden now we continue with the sabian symbols right now the moon is at three degrees 35 minutes capricorn the sun is at 11 degrees 46 minutes capricorn double capricorn energy the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 12 degrees Capricorn, a student of nature lecturing, revealing little known aspects of life. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 4 degrees Capricorn, a group of people entering a large canoe for a journey by water. From astrologyweekly.com And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck beyond Lemoria from Izzy Ivy. And the card she pulled for you today, another very powerful card and symbolic of connecting to our star nation aspects. Card 39, our ancient future. Wisdom from indigenous peoples. Ancestors holding the keys for the future. Ancient remembering. Bloodlines. How the past affects the future. A time to step up. Timeless power symbols. Activations for powerful shifts. Right now, the legends of the Lemurian civilization feel important, as the wisdom from this ancient time is relevant. The fall of Lemuria alerts us to the possibility that humanity may face if we live without respect for the earth. An ancient remembering is emerging. Many of the seed crystals and the knowledge they are imbued with are becoming unearthed. All those who can see a better future are not just dreaming. Their hearts and minds are hearkening to the core of earth-based traditions to bring through knowledge that will help shift this paradigm into balance. It is said that the Lemurians who survived the fall traveled the planet and ended up in the places where inspiring indigenous knowledge far outweighs what western minds have come to prioritize. The ancient Egyptians, Mayans, Inca, Tibetans, Maoris, indigenous Australians, and Hopi are examples. These ancient knowledge keepers of earth and ethers have been holding the key for a new world. We are being called back to our roots to acknowledge the infinite wisdom available when we drop to our knees in humble receptivity. To move gracefully forward, we must first stand in our power for the places, ethics, and conservation of what matters most. When we heal ourselves, we often heal our ancestors. Also, as illuminated beings, Ready to make a change in the collective consciousness, we can sometimes take on what seems like more than our fair share of karma. We may be clearing some of the wounds from our ancestors. With this in mind, we can ease through the waves, allowing guidance and empowered perspective to lead us to the greatest good. And from Divine Broth or of the Light Pars Kute, as we are moving into 2022, we are feeling the incoming energies of plasma waves of energy and light in this particular moment in time and space. Embedded within these waves are codes for the awakening of the third density sentient life upon the earth in order to encourage our evolutionary process into the next stage of fourth density consciousness. This is occurring in conjunction with our sun's own evolution. The entirety of our star system is reorienting itself in its position upon the galactic plane, all while on its journey around the great central sun at the heart of our galaxy. These things all happen in perfect motion and measure, in timings and cycles that occur like clockwork, orchestrated by an even greater creative source consciousness lying within our galactic center. This very complex and mystical process is being orchestrated on multidimensional levels, 
It requires great creative influx, patterning, and repatterning, as well as other adjusting, in order to support the original guiding intention of the creative source consciousness within the heart of our sun, star, solaris. It also falls in step with the original intention of the creative source consciousness within our galactic center. These events are all in perfect alignment with one another, and we will come to find that even on an individuated level within the various humans and beings upon our planet, the same original thought or intention is what is guiding our own personal evolution and awakening at this time. It is but a flavor, a reflection of the original guiding intention which goes all the way back to the creative source of our universe. We will continue to receive the crown of light that is given to those who open their hearts and align with their galactic and angelic heritage to claim their place on the new earth. We keep staying in our hearts and embrace love rather than fear. We will find the magical gateway to higher consciousness in oneness. It is indeed the year to live in grace and simplicity, discovering a new way of life and a new way of being. Happy New Year, everyone. It really is time to come home. With divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine sister of the light, Ramona Lappin, Shockwave. As a part of the New Year's activation I facilitated, I received the message that there will be a collective shockwave over approximately the next 36 hours to be felt by all. I'm unsure whether this will be more physicalized or rather a shocking disclosure event we shall see. One thing is for certain, it seems that a massive shift is about to unfold. I believe this is also connected with what's happening with Solaris and the crystal core and human heart grid which is about to activate fully and come online, shifting all. It is done. The false matrix hologram will now literally dissolve in front of our eyes. Infinite gratitude to all. As divine love washes away all remaining distortions, reversals, lower coatings, artificial materials and realities, veils and illusions, be ready for the impossible finally happening. Our full liberation is here now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be ready. It is done. So it is. Victory of the light. We have fully reclaimed the grids. Shockwave imminent. I'm being shown a shockwave about to collectively unfold. Whether it is of disclosure nature or more of a physical kind or both remains to be seen. One thing is for sure the big reveal and collective awakening is finally here and about to go supernova. Expect a massive purge of lower energies, density, and entities, as well as an upliftment, especially over the next 28 hours. Stay in the neutral observer perspective while still feeling all you are feeling. We hold the new grid system and zero point field for all to unfold with as much ease and grace as possible. There's a lot to hold, anchor, and active right now especially for grid and gatekeepers. These massive changes about to unfold are going to test our inner peace, neutrality, and equilibrium. Know that divine order is being restored. The long-awaited final breakthrough and quantum leap to the new time-space coordinate of the collective consciousness to the golden, one true organic ascension reality is here. The crystalline core of Earth, the human crystal heart grid and grid system is powering up and getting ready for a major activation, from what I can see. I was shown the most beautiful celebrations across the grids. We have fully reclaimed the grids and stargate system from the negative aliens. Alleluia. Love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Melissa Lyra. Happy Quantum New Earth Rebirth, Divine Glow, Gratitude and Blessings to All, Much Love. The energy is running so much more freely now. It almost feels like I'm back in the Amazon. Huge Mother Tree, Sacral Divine Flow. Wherever you walk, send love and light to the earth. This power will grow. The entire earth will experience this golden flow of energy restoring its grids. God is here, the golden light. The divine light is so pleased with us and loves us. We have received praises for our work. We're being noticed, guided. If you ask, God will come. This is our world because it's God's world. We hold the divine organic blueprint. Glory, glory, alleluia. And from divine sister of the light, Aura 444, 2022, the rise of New Atlantis.
new year, new energy. Solar Flare this morning shows exactly why your vibration matters as we were all celebrating life. You must keep celebrating your life. Ancient frequencies will keep increasing. The spiritual sun is heightened now for your path you will forge in the spring. You are quantum healing beyond time and space now of your past lives, bringing lower vibrations for you to clear. Birthmarks come from past life energy as well. Feel safe to be you. Feel safe to speak up, star seeds. Embody feeling, seen, loved, and approved. Give yourself strength now. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Anrita Melchizedek. Happy New Year, beloved hearts. The next stage of the collective divine rebirthing of cosmic Christ consciousness is upon us as we head into 2022 and ignite the 222 crystalline light codes of solar expansion. The 222 crystalline light codes take us into solar Christ consciousness and collectively into the fifth dimension and beyond. These light codes activating from within our bodies are temples of light brings with it new beginnings, harmony, balance, healing, manifestation, and the spirit of community and cooperation. With these wonderful new beginnings, we transform and transcend, elevate and realign as we deepen into new earth through our loving hearts with soul and star family and the amplified frequencies of caring, sharing, respect, unity, and love. 909 coming in. It is going to be a beautiful, manifesting, and magical new earth now year for us all indeed. Blessings and love, Anrita Melchizedek. From PleiadianLight.net And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Quantum Leap 2022 To realize the great leap of light that is before you, as you choose the path of personal light integrity, for this is a unique light path, the true light signature of you. To see us by your side, enabling a wider light view of your reality, for the many are awakening to this infinite light connection, the galactic way aligned to your higher light family. As your light path is challenged, we ask you to choose the path to work with us, for the quantum earth light enables us to merge with your light. Assist cellular healing, align your light body physical alignment, remember to reach us in a space of heart expansion and pure light connection. For the galactic light bridge to reach us is only aligned with high vibrational light. Understand the path to purity simply means releasing the limitations of negative thoughts. For the rapid healing light expansion in your world now enables rapid quantum healings. For the galactic light bridge is accessible to reach us in a quantum field of light. We offer the gift of pure light connection. Simply follow the expansiveness of your heart to reach us. May you see the endless possibilities of a wonderful light future, encoded in every being, unfolding, awakening, advancing light. Remember this purely rests within your light imagination, every breath and thought. Together we walk the light future, collectively as one, sending waves of cosmic love, love equal unity. The Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. The Capricorn New Moon energies are helping us go within to seek solace with our Creator. You may be feeling unstable and mentally overloaded. This is because ancient timelines are collapsing, reflected in the present-day reality. As this diminishes, you are able to continue the path forward. This is a very sacred time in eternity, where you can collapse the past for yourself. It's important to use your discernment today and not cling to old systems or go backwards, especially in relationships. The mind may be replaying past events over and over as you release the seed point of trauma wounds that created unhealthy patterns and relationships as an adult. Acknowledge these thoughts and seek peace with closure. Ground yourself and create space to focus on your own needs. Problem solving within yourself and your intuitive guidance will bring long-term positive results. There is no right or wrong to this detoxing of burdens. Be in the flow and honor the process without judgment. Through this opportunity, you are revealing the new you as a powerful leader that has a healthy, balanced, mature, masculine, feminine, unified field. Triggers from narcissists and toxic masculines will be replaced with love. 
justice and redemption are completely detaching you from the seed point entity that kept pulling you down into lower vibrations, focusing on your purpose and creative expression is much more fulfilling than old behavior patterns of feeding the ego's desires to be engaging in drama and fixing others. You've healed your heart and emotional body from that core wound and control system. You are evolving, healed, and embodying a new level of unconditional love that has set you free. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. Congratulations, family. You did it. We did it. We've conquered the beast not only for ourselves, but for heaven and earth. I am so grateful and honored to be with you and evolve into our new timeline together, healthy, healed, and whole. I love you so much. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your DNA. December 31st, 2021 through January 5th, 2022. Gene Key, 38, 11 code. Struggle, perseverance, honor. The 38th gift is part of the genetic code on family known as the Ring of Humanity. Each of the six Gene Keys in this group represents an archetypal aspect of the human story. In this story, the 38th Gene Key sets the pattern of all human struggle the struggle of all form to reach spirit. In human beings, it is represented by the quest of the inner warrior of light against the dark forces of your lower nature. It is this quest or battle that stands behind all external human conflict. Perseverance is the most essential human attribute of the inner warrior because the darker forces of human instinct are so deeply embedded in our nature. Thus, it is often through defeat that human beings learn to be stronger. Over time, through perseverance, love, and trust, you will eventually attain victory and experience your own divinity. From the Gene Keys books, from the classic book of change, the Yi Ching, Hexagram 38, Opposition, Fire Dancing on the Lake, Diversity brings change or challenge, the warrior holds desire lightly, honor is the rapture of bliss, perseverance is lightness of vitality, struggle is desiring dissatisfaction, passionate elation. The superior man accepts the diversities which make up the whole. What will we do with each precious day of our life? The 38th gift tells us, find a fight worth fighting and pour ourselves into that. The human spirit is indomitable. It loves to reach and stretch and break new ground. We won't be happy in life unless we too reach and stretch and break new ground, no matter who we are. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, Happy New Harmonic Year 2022. We initiate a new harmonic cycle of profound love and peace. January gives us the opportunity for us to witness the state of our being, inner creations, sense of abundance and prepare ourselves for this new year, an empty canvas, as guides shared in co-creations for the ones who have regained sovereignty and hence personal empowerment to paint it as they wish. This is a month to embrace our creatress essence, remembering the power of the feminine without forgetting the importance of its alignment with the masculine, a month to work with our womb, our cosmic creative center, and a month to embody higher levels of love. I wish you all a wonderful first month of the year as well as 2022, beloved companions. With infinite love, Natalia Alba, StarseedSoul.com And from Divine Brother of the Light Sheridan Semple, Happy New Year, everyone. New Venus Cycle in Capricorn starts in January. Venus represents the sacred feminine in shamanic astrology. This is true of both Venuses, the planet and the goddess. Both have many names throughout history. The first written record we have is of the goddess Inanna, queen of heaven and earth, who represented Venus, the planet. This story, written on clay tablets from ancient Sumer, recounts the path Venus takes through the sky, but told as Inanna's journey into the underworld and back. Our beloved planet Venus, who has represented various goddesses for millennia, teaches us about the sacred feminine within each one of us as well as around us in the world. Your personal Venus archetype. 
The sign Venus was in at your birth represents which aspect of the divine feminine you have come to learn about, embody, and help usher back into the world. Your sex makes no difference. We are all the union of the feminine and the masculine. We each have both within us. Venus and Mars are on all our charts. Representing the sacred feminine and sacred masculine, we are all discovering and empowering within and without. Venus has a unique pattern through the sky in that it repeats itself in nearly the exact same manner every 19 months. The cycle begins when Venus rises in the morning sky ahead of the sunrise. This is happening in January. We begin a new 19-month Venus cycle in the new year, January 14th to be exact or thereabouts, generally we say Venus can first be seen with our eyes when she moves 10 degrees away from the sun. Depending upon your location and horizon line, this can happen earlier or later. Venus in Capricorn. Venus has already moved into Capricorn and will remain there until the new cycle begins. This Venus cycle will have the overtone of Capricorn for the entire 19 months. Our understanding of the sacred feminine will be evolving within the context of Capricorn. Capricorn represents the wise, sage energy, the crone spirit, or the Native American idea of the circle of grandmothers. This new Venus cycle will be getting an infusion from the grandmothers, who generously lead us and teach us who we are and how to be in this world. They show us how to care for ourselves, each other, and our beloved Mother Earth. My sacred grandmother, Mary, is with us now. You can connect with her in your heart center. Divine goddess, matriarch of the new earth. Capricorn has a boots on the ground energy to it. It is practical archetype and it's teaching us how to manage our energies, our communities, and our relationship to the earth. We are craving deeper connection to our ancestral ways of living and communion with the earth. We want to feel ourselves purposefully living within the greater whole of life, understanding our place within it. Following the Venus cycle is an excellent place to start. It not only gets you outdoors to watch her move through the sky, but it also empowers you to connect more deeply to your own Venus expression, your internal divine feminine, and find your place within the greater whole. Venus Inanna and the Seven Chakras Venus will move through the seven chakras twice during the 19-month cycle. This allows each of us an opportunity to clear, become more conscious of, and ultimately empower the areas of our lives that each chakra governs. We move through one chakra per month when the moon conjoins, gets close to Venus. It's a powerful sight to witness. This is an excellent time to do ceremony, creating intentions for what you wish to work on within each chakra, and within your feminine expression. Dive into this Venus cycle and see what it brings to you. I encourage you to begin following the Venus cycle for yourself, do ceremony, get back in touch with your ancestral roots, and connect to the brightest planet in our solar system. I promise your ancestors were doing this practice hundreds and thousands of years ago. It's in your DNA. You just have to remember and reclaim it. We are all beings of the earth and sky. We are the union of the feminine and the masculine. Honoring the new Venus cycle will help to bring you one step closer to that union within. From SheridanSemple.com And from Here in the Moon Astrology, January 1st, 2022. New Year greetings and a heads up. As the doorway between the old year and the new year swings open, the first stealth super new moon of 2022, tomorrow, a new moon on steroids at its closest to the earth, is already delivering geomagnetic disturbance, high tides, storm surges, and wildfires. These geophysical manifestations also fritz and fry your nervous system, making you extra sensitive. Channel this earthy Capricorn moon into practical clearing, sweeping away anything that is preventing your energy and creativity from flowing freely. Perhaps the greatest personal physical effect in this now is the exhaustion associated with shifting magnetics. Gaia's wide open stargate system is providing access to the new frequencies of new earth. Magnetic shifts pull apart the old as they open the consciousness to a new experience. With your conscious choice, and it triggers your DNA Taurus fields to follow suit. No, it is a global effect. Don't make it personal. Rest. Accept the deep transformation we are in. We all need rest in order to hold the balance. Collective clearing is exhausting. 
Watching the old burn is exhausting. Limit your exposure to scattering of thought, emotions, and duality. Limit social media scrolling or disclosure hunting. Keep all of your brain and heart as coherent as possible. Finding and then following the natural rhythms and flow of your unique energy signature becomes hugely important for grounding. The high heart is a frequency match for this high energy, so get used to thinking, feeling, perceiving, and creating from there. Work with your new operating system. Use the on windows, the moments, hours, days when creation flows with ease and grace. Then notice when you're suddenly taken offline and stop. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk and from divine sister of the light Leah Whitehorse. Sun and Capricorn trine Uranus retrograde in Taurus. What an aspect to greet the new year. There's a chance to break new ground. New year, new me is the cosmic refrain. You don't need permission to change direction or to shake off internal restrictions. Loosen the reins, lighten up, and allow yourself new experiences. The waning solar square to Chiron may still bring a prickle of concern, but don't hold yourself back for fear of failing getting hurt or being rejected. Step into your authority. Live authentically. Be you. Refuse to allow labels to define you. Experiment with possibilities and be open to alternatives. Express yourself creatively to activate healing. Be gentle with yourself to encourage your confidence. You may feel like sometimes it hurts to be you, but it hurts much more to try to be someone you're not. Love the person you are with all your flaws and eccentricities. Let your natural colors shine. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Today our galactic signature is Keen 123, Blue Rhythmic Night, Magic Turtle Day and this Rhythmic Moon. Keen's 121 through Keen 140, 7th Dimensional Central Column of the Zolkeen. The 7th Dimension is known as God's Speaking Tube. Seventh dimension, plasmatic radio level, the origin of spirit. The seventh dimension is the mirrorless resonator, the speaking tube of God. The seventh dimension actually creates a void or toroid that runs through all the other dimensions and comes out the bottom of the first dimension. This is the pure radial stage of consciousness, no beginning and no end. Seven is the number of prophecy. It is the number of resonant attunement and the basis of the seven days of creation and the seven eons of creation. It also corresponds to the mythic seven lost generations, which are the primary procreative generations of a specific cycle of the cosmic evolution of humanity. The seventh dimension is the plasmatic radial dimension and is the origin of spirit. Each dimension is more powerful than the next and contains the ones that went before it. The seventh dimension is the mirrorless resonator. The mirror dimensions 8 through 13 can be accessed through the seventh dimension. The seventh dimension is pure resonance with what we might call the voice of God or the divine command or creation utterances. These creation utterances come from the vast divine intelligence matrices that constitute the organizing principle of the entire universe. They can be understood as the responses of the unimaginable vast mind of God, which is beyond all dimensionality and beyond all conception, but nonetheless all creation impulses emanate from it. In the Quran, it says that for anything to come into existence, all God has to do is say, be, and it happens. So the creation utterances are like a cosmic echo that manifests through the seventh dimensional speaking tube of God. This echo then reverberates into and makes a pure light imprint in the sixth dimension. Here this creation utterance takes on a particular kind of light signature or light configuration, which can be understood as the encoding of a creation command. These creation commands then trickle down through the dimensions until finally, for example, we are here hearing these words. Red Queen, Keen 185 Key 2.5, the whole mind perceiver is the latent, occult hidden factor that manages our paranormal faculties, the superconscious switch that transforms our whole being, body, mind, and whole on into a divine instrument, free and radiant, unlike anything we now dream possible. 260 keys to synchronotron, 444. 
Cosmic History Quote for Moon 6, Day 20 The purpose of the unified missions of the principle of messengers was to establish a basis for the resurrection of earth and the evolutionary redemption of the human being. From 13moonpeacetime.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 123, Blue Rhythmic Night. Rhythmic is the name for the number 6 and its keywords are organized, balance, and equality. We are now on the sixth day of the White Mirror Wave Spell, and the sixth day is all about getting ourselves organized. Life is a balancing act, and taking time out to take care of practicalities frees our minds to focus on more interesting and spiritual things. Today is the blue night, which represents dreams, abundance, and intuition. If you organize yourself today, abundance will follow. It's like when you have a big cleanup and you are rewarded by finding long lost cool things. So get to it. If you want your dreams to come true and if you want abundance to flow your way. Today's guide is also the blue night and so a double helping of that energy. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Blue Rhythmic Night 6 Akbal Keen 123 1st of January 2022, Happy New Year, Dreaming of Abundance, 112022 equal 2222 equal 44 equal 8, 116 equal 17 equal 8. Day codes, 1 New Beginnings, Original Leader. 8 Infinite Abundance Source Flow, 44 Angelic Code, Building a Foundation for New Earth. Month Year Codes 1. New Beginnings Original Leader 6. Heaven Christ Family Romance Fertility 7. Magic Mystic Spiritual Solitude Initiation 2. Partner Twin Cooperation 20. The Awakening Clear Vision 22. Architect of Peace Master Builder Keen 123 1, 2, 3. Ready, Set, Go 1, 2, 3 equals 6. Christ, Consciousness, Harmony, Family, Fertility. Happy New Year. Welcome to January and welcome to a brand new wondrous year. Today's magnificent codes leading us into this new year will have an influence for the whole year. Today we are passing through an abundant gate where our untold treasures and pleasures will be granted for the newly graduated star blossoms. And I was told by Spirit at 1 p.m. on New Year's Eve, that the star blossoms have grown from seeds to blossoms and have now graduated. Their beautiful, aromatic petals are now filled with bliss. Alleluia! Happy days are here again. January is the first month of the Gregorian year and as such denotes a fresh start, brand new beginnings, where we can be our unique and original selves. The number one is about leadership and independence. Stepping up as way showers to lead the masses back to harmony and peace. The year 2022 holds beautiful gifts for us all. Firstly, the triple two coding highlights partnerships, unions, and romantic coupling. This will be a huge year for twin flame and destined unions and marriages. The triple coding three times two, 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 gives this year a divine and holy frequency. Blessing these new partnerships and cooperatives with a golden kiss from spirit. The triple two adds up to six, which is the heaven frequency. It also denotes Christ consciousness and relates to families, romance, fertility, and harmony. A very joyful and cheerful code. Last year, 2021, totaled a five. The five assisted humanity in rising up through rebellion, revolution, and bonding together to command our freedom and liberation particularly as the blue lunar storm was the seal for the start of the year. This code helped us to break free. Now in 2022, most of the hard work has been achieved. Our focus will now be on bonding together as one human family to create the peace and harmony we are all craving. The electric seed is the seal for the next six months. This aligns with the six harmony code this year, which will assist us in accessing our new growth phase. We will aim to achieve our highest potential, new growth, through creative expression and expansion, a much more pleasurable code. The 20 is the awakening code, and this amplified through the mirror wave spell in this initiating week of January. Those people still not fully awakened will need to use their clear vision to be freed from the hall of mirrors so they can move into their divine missions. 
The 22 denotes the master builder and the architect of peace. This year heralds a new era of peace. This will be in everyone's New Year wishes and have prime importance for our human family. 2-2 two, two is the diplomat who craves harmony and wants everyone to get along. The 22 adds up to 4 which enables the master builder to construct this new foundation of peace for this new era. Lots of building and construction of our new temples, new communities, and new lives this year. January is a 7 universal month. 1 plus 6 equals 7. This emphasizes the spiritual dimensions, tests, and rewards, so get ready to be initiated into your higher divine roles, particularly with the Capricorn new moon highlighting our new career and life path. Today's daily total is an 8, which represents source flow, the in-breath and out-breath of Prime Creator. The energy is flowing now as the golden gate swung open through the overtone wind yesterday. Our Father Mother God is blessing us with infinite riches, resources, and abundance this new year. Open your arms to receive. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Which brings us today's dream spell code. And what another blessing we have. Today we kick off the new year by organizing ourselves to receive greater abundance. The focus is on our collective dreaming, that divine plan encoded in our DNA that we are programmed to realize, our beautiful utopian dream. Today we are liberating equal abundance for all. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Time to organize for more abundance to flow into your life and our planet. Day 6 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we are organizing our physical environment to tap into the infinite abundance, available to all beings as we discover that true abundance is endless. The 8 source flow coding is ensuring that this flow is infinite. The double pyramid energies of 8's knob today is the hall of mirrors, endlessly reflecting the infinite abundance in the cosmos. Absolutely perfecto. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today is a day to find balance in your physical reality, body, by clearing and releasing any energetic blocks to abundance, in order to come into divine alignment. Balance your books and make space for more energy to flow into your golden chalice. We all deserve an equal slice of the prosperity pie. A fantastic day for decluttering your house, space, organizing your office, attending to your schedule, activating your wealth career areas with feng shui, creating a vision board, journaling, or reflecting on your goals and dreams. It is time to take action on your dreams, bringing them forth into your physical reality. Get moving. All darkness shall fall. The whole of mirrors shall transform into a wall of clear windows from which we can see the landscape beyond the horizon in all directions, revealing the greener pastures beyond. The veil has dissolved and the path is now clear. Which road shall you choose, dear light holder? The clear path leads to love, unity, and source. Today's question is what do I need to organize in my physical reality, body, to bring greater balance in my life, allowing for more abundance to flow? I am holding the dream of collective abundance for all humans in our new, united, global community. Divine blessings for unlocking the floodgates to abundance for all planetary kin. On this wondrous day, Alleluia. In la catch a la keen, Christina, white magnetic world bridger, keen 66. Keen 1, 2, 3, blue rhythmic night. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to dream. Balancing intuition, I seal the input of abundance. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, 
and sacred manifestations for 414 coming in. Let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and our mission in assisting Gaia and all her children in this great ascension process. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Jennifer Fock, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and Condor, the first to join in this most powerful and blessed new year of 2022. If you'd like to help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world and our teachings, you can make a monthly pledge on Patreon at whitegoldeagle.com. And to our tribe and team on Patreon, if you'd like to continue supporting us, being the first of the month again, people drop out. If you could please do us a favor and make sure the transaction went through, for there was another glitch in the matrix and multiple people dropped out. So please confirm, and thank you to all of you continuing to support us into this new year of the new earth. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light Daphne Carandanas for another donation. Thank you very much. We appreciate you for your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Pleiadian Brothors and Sistars of the Light. Pleiades 1 Messages, January 1st, 2021. P1 Calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for Calls in PVSE-SDE. Special Crossings Authorized. Revolutions Started. Tectonic Adjustments Foreseen in Mu Zone. Waves Are Diminished. Appropriate connect divinely. Christics introduce themselves. Sacred covers arrive. Terrans call to dynamism. Special cleanings are still active. PVSE dynamic 11 realignment. Attention Terrans new transformational wave sent. Specific attention for 303 606 909 1212 1515. 1818-2121-00, third wave, 33, attention Terrans level 3 packet, deliveries in progress, solar projection, kundalini function, 80% of 72H, solar plexus, reverberation, attention Solaris and Solaris, new synchronized solar wave sent to Terran plane, support and immediate assimilation, 40% of 72H. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1. Supporting anchoring an island of purification. From DisclosureNews.it Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light, on this most powerful and blessed 1-1 one -one portal of 2022. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred 2022, the year of the full New Earth manifestation. And each day forward, from now until full, contact with our star families, our star nations, our prime disclosure, will remind you, God is willing to connect with the race, the nation, the beings that resonate with you the most. And you could call out to them the Syrians, the Lyrans, the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, and call them to take you onto their ship and call them to earth. We have reached critical mass in the calling upon divine intervention and intervention from our higher selves and our star nations, ascended masters, angelic realms, to assist us in all star seeds in this great transition, the transformation to 5D. And if you call out to the Syrians, the Lyrans, Pleiadians, Andromedans, Arcturians, you can hold your favorite crystal in your left hand and hold it to your heart. 
This is simply just another tool to assist you in your connection to your divine team. And let go into whatever arises. Whatever you feel, allow it to carry you to source and to your divine connection, to your highest self and to your star nations, your star families, your star ship, your Merkaba light body ship. You can ask them to make contact and to land if you have the property to do so. We will be releasing in the next week or so on the protocol for this when we find the time to record and upload this powerful transmission. But until then, keep connecting with your star families, your star nations, your legions of light, and keep rising in the honor and glory of the dawning of the new golden age of eternal life. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Five, zero, five, zero. Coming in. Keep shining your light brightly into the night and be sure to make this the best year ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.